So yeah, so the, the, recent, the recent thing is the weed card, and it's great. It's been a few months. I love it. But like when you first get it, you like start smoking way too much weed. Uh, and I realized this through a variety of things. Uh, one was I lingered longer in a CVS than I had to <laughs> so I could listen to the rest of that Give Me One Reason to Stay Here song <laughs> that was playing in aisle seven. I was also crying a little bit. I was like, am I dying? What is happening? So there was, I also started getting like really paranoid. Like if you smoke too much weed, you start getting like, like I made like an enemies list. Like I'm like Richard Nixon or something. Like they'll pay for what they've done to me. But it was just like the guy who works at my local subway that I hate. That was the only guy on the list. He had it coming. When I went in there, he didn't put enough sweet onion sauce on my sandwich. And then when I mentioned this, he proceeded to pretty much obliterate my sandwich with sweet onion sauce. Like it was a malicious saucing. He knew it and I knew it. We locked eyes. Like it was so blatant, the other subway dude behind the counter just started laughing in my face. Just like, yeah, you show him one. I was like, I'm standing right here. You call yourselves artists. <laughs> That's what I should have said. I thought that up on the car ride home. <laughs> what I did do was wait when they both weren't, both weren't looking, and I stole some sun chips. So I feel like I, yes, I smushed them into crumbs, shoving them into my back pocket quickly when they were faced the other way. But uh, I drank that flavor dust in the car, and it was delicious. <laughs> it tasted of garden salsa and or victory. So I feel pretty good about that. Uh, the crux probably came the other night when I was in 7-Eleven. It was 3 in the morning. Uh, I was very stoned. Uh, I shouldn't even have to qualify that statement. <laughs> because if you're in 7-Eleven at 3 in the morning and you're not high, something's gone terribly wrong in your life. <laughs> so I'm in there, you know, you can tell from my general demeanor or from my item selection. Uh, big water with the handle, gotta stay hydrated. <laughs> big bag of Funyuns, big bag of jerky smaller reserve bag of Funyuns to eat on the car ride home. <laughs> Do not want to finish all the Funyuns on the car ride. Hot spicy peanuts, Cool Ranch sunflower seeds. Because when I'm baked, I like my nuts hot and my seeds cool. <laughs> that's not a set rule. I just thought that up when I was in the store. I was like, good work, Rain. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. <laughs> Keep that up. Uh, various fruit pies, some unidentified Mexican snacks, possibly Cybertones. I don't know what they were. They look delicious. <laughs> some donuts, some ice cream. Like, clearly, I'm doing very well with my selection. <laughs> Probably best in the store. And uh, you know, I'm waiting to pay. And the dude in front of me, this big black dude, he turns around from the register. He looks at what I'm buying. And then super loud, he just goes, boy, you high as shit. <laughs> the entire store started laughing. There was a lot of people in there at 3 in the morning. Like, dude reading a magazine, like, yeah, you high. Back to the magazine. <laughs> like, thank you, guy reading Double XL at 3 in the morning by yourself for your input on this. But then, but then I realized, I was like, this guy's right. I'm high as shit. Like, he has my number. And then to add insult to injury, I looked down at what he's buying. 12 40s of Colt 45. I was like, are you seriously judging my lifestyle choice right now? You're going to have to make multiple trips to your car to carry the amount of malt liquor you're purchasing. How dare you?